Soccer Chat Match Pack is what you tuned in to. So we're in conversation with African soccer commentator Matt Gleason and we asked him uh, the results that have been booked by Zanaco and Zesco United this past weekend. Could they be saying something? What should we read out of them? Take a listen to what he had to say. Um, I just wanted to get your feelings about, first off, El Ali for African Giants. Uh, we held to a new, new draw by Zambian champion Zanako. Could it be a sign of the change of the times in African football? No, I think it's far too early to make those kind of calls. I think if you, if you uh, look back in uh, the history of these competitions, there are always a proliferation of surprise results in the first round. It's almost as if a lot of these giants start off fairly slowly. You know, they, they it takes a while for their motors to get into action. And I think um, oftentimes people get a little bit ahead of themselves because they get excited about the opening results. If you were asking me that question after the third game, and I likely still had not won, then uh, perhaps uh, I might agree that... Um, we are witnessing possible changes, but I think it's uh, I think it's it's far too premature after just one group match to to make that sort of statement. Okay, let's also take cognizance of the fact that last year El Ali came to Zambia and they were beaten again and didn't qualify from that group into the next round. Could could it be that this giant of African football is no longer at the peak of its powers and perhaps People in Egypt and the continent should check not, and those who support the team should press the panic button. But are you talking specifically about Al Ali? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Look, I think in the specific case of Al Ali, there's certainly um, at the moment a bit of a, a trough for for Egyptian football, and there are a lot of reasons for that. You know, they've had a lot of social and political instability. Um, those clubs have been hit quite heavily by uh, the economic uh, fallout from that. Uh, you know, you don't make any money if, you, if, the, if the security forces don't allow any spectators into your matches. So they've struggled a lot with uh, lost income. And they've not been able to perhaps buy the kind of uh, player quality and coaches that they ordinarily would have. So it is true that Egyptian football uh, is not what it could be because of the unstable political and social um, situation in the country. But nevertheless, I mean, it was only two years ago that al Ahly won the Contest Cup, and it's only a few months ago that Egypt's national team got into the final of the, um, of the African Nations Cup final. So I, would, I am weary to start uh, dancing on the grave of Egyptian football. I think that might backfire. Okay, let's also talk about another Egyptian team that didn't have a good outing in Southern Africa. Suma traveled to Zambia, take on Zesco United. They did one nil in favor of the former champions uh, of, of Zambia. Are you, are, you, are you somewhat impressed by what Zesco United have been able to do in the last couple of years, last year's semi-final? They've started uh, the Confederations Cup on a rather good note this year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they were, they were, in my opinion, a little bit unlucky not to get to the final of the Champions League. You know, they let it, they had a, uh, they had a good situation in the first leg at home against Mamelodi Sundowns, and then they, they gave away a late goal, which ultimately cost them. Um, and they've obviously continued the momentum. It's good to see, uh, Zambian club football again after such a, a long time, um, back. At you know at the business end of African football, and I think for a, a country of the uh, prowess and um, success of Zam of of uh, the Zambian national team, I think it's been quite poor that Zambian clubs have qualified for three Champions Leagues in 20 years, and um, that there has not been a Zambian finalist since the days of uh, Power Dynamos and uh, Nkana back in the back in the 80s and the 90s. So it's great to see uh, what Zesco have done, um, and I think uh, I can say also about time too, because uh, it's been a surprise to me that uh, a country of the of the national team strength of Zambia, consistent national team strength of Zambia, has been consistently poor at club level in uh, African club competition. All right. 
Thank you very much for taking time to speak to us.